The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. It's time for a crunch or two. It's time for a little something something. It's time for the Snack Authority. The Snack Authority. The authority on snacks. Snacks of all kinds. From the most common and wildly famous to the most obscure and unknown. The Snack Authority. Snacking all the time so you don't have to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, guys, to the Snack Authority, broadcasting live from the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. The Snack Authority is a weekly podcast where we dig into the history, taste, and flavor of local snacks, national favorites, and yes, even some bizarre or international treats alone or in head-to-head battles. My name is Jess, and here with us is our very favorite Ed... Hi, Jess. Hi, Ed. We got snacks. <laughs> well, one. What a change. It's weird, right? One. And, you know, we uh, previously tried the Happy Hippo. Which were delicious. Which was, you know, from that list we talked about on an earlier show mm-hmm. of interesting international snacks from Amazon. Oh, and this God. was another one that they mentioned. And these are the Arrow Delightful Delightful. Peppermint Bubbles. I would like to say that on the back of this, it does say, know your servings. Eight sweets equal one serving. I've had several servings. I thought a bag was a serving. (laughs) It is. Although when they make it resealable, it's about a guilt trip, isn't it? I think it's about shaming you, but we're never going to do that. That sticker is for you to wear proudly. I know. It should be my choice. Why should I be pressured into resealing it? I suppose you can still reseal it when it's empty. (laughs) It's to make it convenient to roll up the bag to throw away. It's good. I thought it was when people walk in the room, you quickly roll it up, tape it, and then shove it in your pocket. Man. I don't share well. These look great, though. These are little rounds that are half peppermint, which is green. I would think peppermint would be red. Eh, that's that's my own weird thing. Yeah, I mean, mint is green. green. You know, but you're right. The red is associated with it. It smells really good. Really minty in there? Really minty. Yeah, and these are, you know, uh, packaged it smells in the... Like the peppermint, the hard peppermint candy rounds? Oh, yeah. Continue, I'm so sorry. All right, so Arrow. Mm-hmm. Arrow is an... Aerated chocolate bar manufactured by Nestle. Mm-hmm. And they were originally produced by Round Trees. Oh, And oh. you know what they're famous for. We know a lot about Round Tree. Yeah, they're famous for the Kit Kat, which is how Nestle got their hands on it when mm-hmm. they bought Round Trees. They were originally introduced in 1935 as the new chocolate. So it's this is fantastic. like kind of fluffed up stuff, right? It's so odd. And Nestle's been making the Arrow since 1988 after they took over Round Trees. And it's known for a unique bubbly texture that collapses as the bar melts. It is fun to let them melt a little bit in your mouth. I've just been gnawing on them. I've let this one melt. Now you understand. I started early and Jess was staring at me as I popped one after another. Not judging. No, because they're delicious. Mm Mm-hmm. And I think the mint is very clean, fresh mint. Pleasant. And the uh, Aero Bars are available in many different flavors and various forms, including what we have, the Aero Bubbles. And they also make Aero Biscuits. The Mm -hmm. bubbles are aerated chocolate with a chocolate shell. And, you know, Jess, in 2012, Nestle got their stuff together and removed artificial colors, flavors, and preservatives. And it's still delicious. It is delicious. The um, green coloring of the mint arrow bubbles was changed, and now it's made from a plant extract. Copper complexes of chlorophyllins. Doesn't sound all that natural, but whatever. I guess copper is <laughs> an element. Yeah. Curcumin? I like cumin. Huh. I like it. I'm yeah. happy with it. Um, the Aero Bubbles come in a variety of flavors. The milk, chocolate, the mint, orange, strawberry, and caramel. But this was the one on the list, so I went for the mint. This is wonderful. I would love to try the strawberry. I feel like that would be delicious. This is very good. 
I did let it melt, but I'm gonna level with you. I did I did the the Tootsie Roll pop thing. Mm-hmm. A one, a two, and then I chewed it. So Yeah. You can go combo. You break the hard shell and then let it melt a little, but I did what I could. I, I couldn't I couldn't let it stand. Plus you guys are probably getting sick of watching me make weird faces trying not to bite it. They're very refreshing. Yeah. They're not overwhelming. The mint doesn't linger too long. It's just a pleasant kind of cool feeling. I'm going to reseal them up. I tore off the resealable part. No, you didn't. It's on the back of it. It's a Stecca. Oh. Oh. Oh, I thought it had one of those like Ziploc things. (laughs) Yeah, no. I'm just going to eat them all then. I know. <laughs> I mean, Sam, I actually just would like to see how their resale works because some people give you stickers and they don't actually stick. But I actually I like this idea. I can't honestly say that I wouldn't eat this whole thing as a, a serving. I but mean, that's just because we don't lie to each other, you and me. After a while, though, I sort of hit my mint. breaking point on the mint. Oh, nice! It's all ready for your next snack. I just gotta stuff it in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> So, Jess, do you need any news? I need it. All right. Well, Jess, it turns out that white chocolate Snickers has been added permanently to the Snickers portfolio. So it is. It's chocolate. White chocolate. Yeah. Hmm, how do you feel about it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, desperation. We may have to try it. I don't know. But it has the same peanut, caramel, and nougat configuration Mm -hmm. as the original, but covered in white chocolate. And it's moving from limited edition status to permanent everyday line. That's good. means they go and study. Yeah, I mean, they, they've been, uh, Mars Wrigley's been doing a lot of white chocolate varieties, you know, the M&Ms, and they had white chocolate Twix, so. It's really, it's coming up. Yeah, I, I'm not a huge fan personally, but um, it might be okay. We'll give it a whirl. I'll try anything. Well, except for the mustard hot dog ice cream. Yeah, I mean, they and they do say they continue to see demand for white chocolate growing. And they're excited to present this new take. Oh, my, no. my sticker let go. But you have sticker <laughs> shock right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to level with you. I don't get excited over pretty much any white chocolate. I think the only white chocolate thing, and I don't even know if it counts as white chocolate because it was coconut, was that Raffaello. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that was good. Tastes like sunblock. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it did? I really, I like all things coconut because it has that almost like summer sunblocky kind of feel. Yeah. I can't make this stick. It's a sign. Don't tell me to eat only eight if you're not going to see You're going to have to have them all. But um, you know what? I, I think I think the trend was going to be there. Then we're going to have the ruby chocolate when that finally comes through. Everything goes through a trend. Milk chocolate is going to be America's favorite. I don't know why. It's just, it's smooth. It's rich. It's everything you want it to be. Then there was the dark chocolate. Then right. there's going to be the white chocolate, and then as soon as ruby chocolate comes in, everything's going to be ruby chocolate. Do you really think so? Well, for a while, right? Yeah, it's, it's I a mean, trend. people go back to the classic in the end. Of course they do. I mean, you, if you want a Snickers, you're not going to go for the dark chocolate, the white chocolate, the almond, the peanut butter. You're going to go for a Snickers bar. Snickers? I like a Snickers bar. Everybody likes a Snickers bar. Like a Snickers bar. So I got another news story. Ready for it? All right. How do you feel about fish? Like fish? Not from the ocean, but from the supermarket, oh, okay. snack aisle, goldfish. Talk- there we go. I like them. Yeah. I mean, everybody loves the goldfish, right? As long as it wasn't anchovy chocolate. <laughs> it was a hot moment of fear. <laughs> so, um, turns out that, and the goldfish are made by Campbell, yeah. the soup people. So you can put it in your tomato soup. Oh my God, so delicious. They're launching a line of veggie goldfish crackers. You know, they've done a lot of different goldfish with different cheeses and pretzels and what have you. Funny business. But they are going to make some with plants, Jess. Sweet carrots and cheesy tomato. Are they going to be like those veggie sticks or are they going to be goldfish textured? I think they will look like the um, regular goldfish and they're going to be sourced from real carrots and tomatoes. And I I think this might be smart. You know, some of the moms will feel like, okay, this is a healthier option. We'll get the carrot ones. Yeah. 
Now we'll see if the children spit them out in the back seat of the car. But or if I spit them out in the front seat of the car. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do like you some goldfish. I do love me some goldfish. And these will be hitting grocery store shelves. Well, they're they're here on January first and should be available nationwide by March. That's pretty wild. Now, quickly on on the topic of this, you make a phenomenal carrot cake. Yes. Would you add carrot goldfish to your recipe? No, I'm not going to put them in. I think it might spoil it. <gasps> Say it ain't so. No, I'm using fresh carrots, one pound in every cake. It's good. It's all your so it really counts as a serving of vegetables. Smart. Oh, I'm as smart as they come, to Super Jess. smart. <laughs> Must be all the chocolate. Man. It's delicious. delicious. All right, then. Let's uh, wrap it up on these arrow, delightful peppermint bubbles. It says, taste incredible. Incredible. <laughs> Does it really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's funny. Um you know, I do think they are delightful. As I say, this one's got as good a mint flavor as any of the chocolatey snacks I've had. I would agree. I don't, you know, I don't typically go for a minty yeah. chocolate kind of thing. I just think that it muddies the waters. This one's pleasant. Um, I like the shape. I don't let it melt all the way, but the texture is wonderful. Right. But if you're going to reach for some mint, what's your normal go-to minty Andes. chocolate? You like the Andes. I love Andes. I don't know why. I've gone through an entire sleeve. Been very, very sick. Very sick. Yeah. But a whole package. Yeah, because after a while, the mint kind of weighs heavy, I think. Oh, yeah. it it It's not good on the return visit. But these come in a semi-resealable package, so <laughs> it should be fine <laughs> for anybody. I'm working on my sharing. I might actually share some of these. So All right. Good. But these are good. I would like to try the other flavors of the arrow. All right, maybe we'll get to those later in the snacking year. We're here for it. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready too. If you guys ever have an idea for a snack we should dig into, an idea of what to pair against each other, please contact us at the snack authority at gmail.com. We do love to hear from you. Questions, comments, the whole thing. Please let your snack eating friends know about us. Share us, subscribe to us, even though I don't share candy. If you like it, give us a five star rating. For Ed and myself, have a wonderful snacking week. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.